Hey everyone, this is Kelly. I am back today with a new process for my travel mini album that I'm creating in a citrus twist album. Today I am working on the Hollywood portion of this album and as you can see I have a pattern paper out on my desk on the left hand side of the spread. It has some film strips on it and I have added a couple film strips onto that design as well. Now I'm working on a pocket page insert that's going to be included in the album and I'm just going through some of my stash of cards to see what cards I like, what cards are going to work. And I really liked the black cards. I thought that they brought out the black and the film strips on the left hand side. I'm also going to have an insert in between. So it's actually a postcard that you can see I punched some holes in that will be included in this portion of the mini album as well. I'm also going to be using a couple of these Polaroid frames on my spread today, and these are from a previous Studio Calico kit. And I really liked how they just add a little bit of interest to the photo, but at the same time, they were getting lost because they are an acetate frame. So I'm gonna add them to some white cardstock and then cut out the center and then add them onto my photo. So I do want to mention just real quick that I recently updated my computer and when I did that I had to update my video editing software because Windows Movie Maker was no longer available. So I got a new computer, got the new software, and my new computer has a fan that runs very loudly when I am using my editing software. So I had to purchase an external mic so that way it would try to knock out some of the fan noise. but. I'm having a little trouble getting the settings just right on my mic. So if the sound sounds a little bit off in this video, I am working on it. Just try to be patient with me as I am figuring out all this new technology. Okay, so getting back to the process, I am going through the cards again to find a card for the back side of that pocket page insert. And I changed this card a few different times. I, at first, I think that I like the palm trees. It actually looks like a photo, but it is a Project Life card from Studio Calico. I am flipping through cards from Studio Calico. I also have some paper person cards that I am flipping through. And I will use a couple paper person cards on this back side of the insert. I have this photo and it's kind of a random photo from when we were in Hollywood. We were at the Walk of Fame at this point and there were a lot of different statues and things like that that were kind of just out in display. And at this time, my son was really into Predator and there was a Predator statue. So I snapped a picture of it and I sent it back to my husband to show him. And I just wanted to include that because he's not really into Predator anymore. It's not something he really talks about anymore. So it was just a memory that popped up in my mind as I was going through the photos, trying to figure out what I wanted to print. So I am going to use this photo, or I'm sorry, this card that is kind of a um, purplish blue color. And I just liked how the photo kind of fit up at the top. And then there's also a little frame that goes around that card as well. And then I used a stamp and a label for my stash just to add a little bit of embellishing to that card. I've decided that I'm gonna use another one of the acetate frames and add it to this photo of the Hollywood sign. We did not get very close to the Hollywood sign. It was way off in the distance, but of course being a scrapbooker, I was still gonna snap a picture of it. You can't even really read the full Hollywood because there's like a, I don't know, something on top of one of the buildings that blocks out the O's, but you know what it is. I mean, just by looking at it. So I will include in the journaling that we were not able to get close enough to it, but that I snapped that picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, again, another black card. That part card is from Paper Person. And again, I just like that it brings in the black of the film strips on the previous page because you will be able to see that pattern because the insert is smaller than the actual pattern paper. So now I'm moving on to my favorite part, which is embellishing. I'm going through a bunch of different products. I have some Pink Fresh Studio, some Paper Person, um, and then I also have some Citrus Twist that I'm going through. The puffy sticker that I have added on top of the Hollywood photo, that is from Paper Person. And I'm going to add this Be Present chipboard piece to that card that I added. I wanted to add just a little bit of embellishing to that card. I didn't want to leave it plain. I wanted to add a little bit of interest and I thought that the white really stood off that well. Now I'm also adding an arrow onto that photo of the Predator and it was the same color as that Be Present puffy sticker that I had added on to the photo of the Hollywood sign. 
I added a geotag to that front card and the cards wanted to shift around in the pocket a little bit and I didn't want you to be able to see the card that was underneath. So I am just using some adhesive to go ahead and adhere those cards together so that way they will stay uniform within the pocket. Now at this point, I'm trying to decide if I wanna add my journaling on to the actual postcard or if I wanna add it onto the spread. And as you can see, I decided to add it onto the actual spread. I found the sticker that happened to fit really well in the top portion of that layout. So I went ahead and added that. I got my Polaroid frame adhered down and I felt like I needed to add a little bit something extra to that Predator card. I felt like it was just looked a little bit too empty at the bottom of the card. So I found a pink chipboard arrow in my stash and it matched really well. I was having a hard time getting it adhered down. I've been pulling off a lot of the layers of chipboard for the chipboard pieces that I'm using just to try to make the album not get too bulky. And I peeled off the sticky part of the chipboard and then it almost had like an indent to it and it just wasn't wanting to stay put. So I had to add a lot of adhesive on there to get it to go down. Now I'm adding my film strips on to my film strip pattern paper and I just wanted to add a tiny bit of embellishing to that. So I found those palm leaf puffy stickers. Those are from an older paper person kit and I added those kind of tucked underneath those film strips. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of embellishing to that Hollywood postcard. It had the word Hollywood in it, so I didn't wanna cover that up. So I just added a puffy sticker above the word Hollywood and then an arrow underneath, just kind of pointing over to the other photos. Now this is kind of a sneak peek of the next project that I'm gonna be working on. So this is on the back side of the paper that I have my journaling. So I'm going to use both the front and back in my album. And I liked the saying on it. I liked the craft paper. So I went ahead and added a stamp just kind of around that. It was a vacation theme stamp from Citrus Twist. I thought that it just matched really well. So here I'm just gonna do a little flip through of what I have completed. I kind of, I like to do that as I'm adding pages just to kind of get a feel for the flow of the album. So there you can see the extra little embellishments I added to that Hollywood postcard. And then here are the still shots. I will put a link to the first process video that I have for this album if you're interested in checking it out. If you enjoyed this video, I would really like to encourage you to either give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. That really is the only way that I know that these videos are enjoyed and something that I should continue investing my time in. I really do appreciate everyone who watches and who leaves comments. It really does mean so much and really makes my day. I'll be back again soon with a new layout and video.